Congress veteran and former Kerala Chief Minister Uman Chandi passed away at 4 a.m. today in Bengaluru at the age of 79. The news was shared by his son on social media. Chandi had been ailing since 2019 and was under treatment. His mortal remains will be brought in a special aircraft at about 2 p.m. to Thiruvananthapuram and it will be taken to the Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee office in the state capital and then to the Darbar Hall in the Secretariat for the public to pay their last respects. Kerala Chief Minister Pinarai Vijan condoled Chandi's death, saying that it is extremely difficult to bid him farewell. Now, two days official mourning in Kerala has been announced and today has been announced as a holiday. Some of the senior Congress leaders have uh, are visiting uh, Chandi to pay respect to him. These uh, Congress leaders are already in Bengaluru for the opposition meet that is going to take place today. But uh, before that, they are visiting uh, Um and Chandi to pay their tribute to them. These uh, leaders include Karnataka Chief Minister Sidra Maya along with uh, uh, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. And uh, we are showing you the latest visuals. These Congress leaders have arrived to pay their last tribute uh, to Um and Chandi. CNN News 18's Neetu is joining us uh, to give us more details on this. Neetu, uh, tell us the latest update uh, about the last rites that uh, is going to take place in Kerala today. Well, we are right now in Indra Nagar, where uh, his mortal remains, Uman Chandi's mortal remains, are actually being brought here to his uh, friend's residence, uh, T. George's residence here in the uh, Bengaluru. There, in the visuals, you can see now the Karnataka Chief Minister Sidharamaya uh, have in fact arrived here to pay his homage, and also uh, Minister K. J. George is here. Uh, inside his house there uh, trying, uh, speaking to the family members as well who are right here, his friends as well but meanwhile there's a heavy security deployment as well that you can see in the visuals what we are given to understand is that the mortal remains will be a lifted it from this residence, uh, uh, from here in fact from Bengaluru at, uh, in the afternoon and will be taken to Tiruvanthapuram where it will be again open for the public homage as well and later point all those uh, rituals will be carried out but however this is really a sad news that is coming in uh, because uh, he was suffering with a prolonged illness and in fact uh, uh, last breath today early morning at the hospital here in the uh, Indra Nagar. No, right after that he was actually uh, the mortal remains were brought here uh, at his uh, friend's, uh, friend's residence here in the Bengaluru itself. So in the visual that you can see the Karnataka chief minister in fact is already inside now any moment that uh, Rahul Gandhi the congress leader and also Sonia Gandhi are also expected to visit the location uh, to pay their homage as well. Uh, so now remember Rahul Rahul Gandhi, in fact, was the uh, MP of Vainad as well, so he's now disqualified. But however, so the Rahul Gandhi shares a, a different altogether a bond as well with the Kerala. So that's the reason here he will be at this residence right uh, in some time now to pay the uh, pay, to pay his homage as well. But we do know that many Congress leaders, in fact, had visited uh, to pay their homage, have expressed the condolences as well. Now Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has also uh, said the kind of bond that he was, in fact, sharing with this particular. Uh, the, in fact, with the former uh, Chief Minister of the Kerala, they started their career together. Now, many are also today appreciating the kind of leader that he was and he will always be remembered by the people as well. The one who was easily accessible to people, who was always seen among the people as well. So he was Chief Minister twice, uh, uh, in fact, of the Kerala and have always worked for the people. He, was the he had that efficiency uh, administration skills as well. So today, a lot of uh, leaders are remembering his best qualities and expressing the condolences. Also, Ritu, how much of a loss is this for the Congress party? Of course, one, you see, as even with a lot of uh, Congress leaders now coming out and speaking about uh, his efficiency, the, qual the best qualities about this particular leader as well. And he was mainly seen as the mass leader to uh, in the Kerala, also a leader who had a very good relationship with the uh, other state leaders as well. So yes, that administration skills were always appreciated uh, uh, too. But today now, you see, with uh, all that kind of developments that used to take place in the Kerala, uh, he was always seen being part of uh, uh, 
all that and working with the administration very closely, making people understand as well, carrying out a lot of uh, public programs there again. So yes, of course, it's a big, huge loss for the state as well because uh, losing a senior Congress leader like this is a big, you know, is, there is a big, has left a big uh, walk, uh, vacuum as well for the Congress party. So that's the reason you see today a lot of uh, leaders uh, uh, you know, from different parties are actually coming out and speaking about uh, his qualities, the kind of leader that uh, uh, he was and the way he has served the nation as well. But however, we can see vehicle movements right uh, here needs to be seen uh, who is right here uh, at this point in time. But Karnataka chief minister is already is already uh, here inside uh, uh, inside paying his uh, to pay the homage. Well, here in the visual you can see uh, Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, and Malikarjun Kharge have uh, reached, uh, reached, uh, reached the residence to pay their homage. So these are the visuals that uh, Aviji Riaz is bringing to you of now the Congress leaders entering the residence to pay the uh, homage. And as said, as we were speaking, you see uh, what how the kind of relationship that Rahul Gandhi also shares uh, with the Vainad because he was the MP from that particular. Uh, from uh, Vainad, in fact, so here they are here now. All the Congress leaders are uh, in Bengaluru for the opposition meet. So yes, many co many leaders across uh, of the Congress party are now actually reaching out the location. In fact, Karnataka Chief Minister Sidharama is already inside, and just now Malikarjun Kharge, uh, the AICC president, and also Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi have also arrived at uh, uh, the residence of uh, T. George, who happens to be the friend of uh, uh, Oman Chandi. In fact. Uh, so to pay their uh, uh, homage and as we as said you see in the afternoon is that what we are given to understand that uh, the mortal remains will be airlifted from the Bengaluru and will be uh, then taken to Tiruvanthapuram and will be open for the public homage as well and later point uh, uh, all the rituals will therefore uh, be carried out but important you see the Malikarjun Kharge in fact also tweeted about uh, the kind of loss that the party has seen with the uh, Uman Chandi passing away the kind of vacuum that he has left behind with this best uh, administration skill and also a leader who was always uh, seen among the people, speaking to the people and for a really long time that he was also an MLA as well uh, and a two-time chief minister uh, uh, to also an opposition uh, leader as well of the Kela from the Congress party. So yes, today the Congress leaders are all remembering his uh, uh, and uh, all that best uh, about the Uman Chendi and feeling that, uh, 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 in fact, the vacuum that he has left behind. All right, Ritu, please stay with us. Now let's listen into what... All right, Ritu. So uh, we just saw that Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi have uh, arrived to pay homage to Uman Chandi, who uh, passed away today at 4 a.m. Ritu, will the leaders also be going to Kerala for his la last rites? Well, so far there's no confirmation about uh, that because there might be chances as well because as we were speaking about it, you see, especially Rahul Gandhi, uh, again, the kind of uh, uh, relationship that he sh uh, shares with the Kerala people, especially with the people of the Wainad and uh, Uman Chandi being twice uh, chief minister of the Kerala state as well and seen as in the mass leader of the state. Uh, so, you know, in fact, there might be thoughts about it, but so far there's no confirmation about it because the opposition, the crucial opposition meeting is underway here in the Bengaluru where the leaders of across the uh, of all the, all the parties, in fact, whom the Congress party had invited have all reached Bengaluru. So the meeting will start, uh, uh, you know, uh, in fact, will start at uh, uh, level uh, level AM is what we are given to understand. So today, the whole day, there will be series of meetings that will take place where the party has to decide on few uh, crucial decisions uh, that needs to be made by them as well. So that again be, uh, is an important part of the opposition meeting. So it needs to be seen if the Congress party will really decide on that. But so far, there's no confirmation about that.